Hello YouTube, welcome to Uncovering the Classics. As you can tell from the introduction today, we're going to be uncovering Steely Dan's Peg. Uh, some of you know we've got a tribute band here in Nashville called 12 Against Nature. However, this particular time was something I had to program for a band down in Atlanta, the Yacht Rock Schooner. So I love going down and playing with those guys. And uh, the challenge for me was to play that intro sound uh, the only problem is the clavinet transposes down an octave for the second half of the phrase, but the lyricon doesn't. So I'm going to show you how I tackled that problem, and hopefully you can use it with your cover band if you decide to tackle this Steely Dan great. This particular patch is interesting because it's seven layers. You have your main layer for the clavinet, and you play throughout the song. Then for the interludes and the intro, on either side of that clav, I've created a layer uh, of three sounds. Two of them are soprano sax tuned in octave to kind of create that lyricon patch that Steely Dan used. And then that also layered with a clavinet. The interesting part about that is that the clavinet is tuned in octaves depending on what part of the phrase. The first part of the phrase... <laughs> Is that octave but then for the second part of the phrase it's a lot lower that's why I had to create two different layers on either side of the main clavinet layer and that's easily done with main stage because you basically have an infinite amount of layers you can create in a keyboard patch so this is seven layers three of them up here one in the middle and three down here and each one of those layers you can pick your own sound you can transpose it as far as you want you can change controllers and how it responds to mod wheels and sustain pedals and volume pedals. It's just really versatile in how you can assign the controllers. You can probably also find a keyboard out there that'll let you split it seven ways and create a seven patch layer. But uh, with Mainstays, it's just super easy. And there's so many different plugins you can pick from. You can subscribe to the Roland Cloud and have access to all those sounds inside of Mainstays. Uh, which I really enjoy doing. Uh, but for this particular sound, I was able to do it with just all Apple patches. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me through YouTube and uh, let me know what other songs you might want to see us uncover, uh, as it were, the great synth sounds of the 70s and 80s. So hope you enjoyed it and good luck.